Good evening, and salutations and introductions to Desire of Fortech, and here we are with another delightful video. This time, uh, I kind of doing something different. I'm sp my whole plan was to do like Pathfinder month, but I got this in the mail like uh, a week or two ago, and I was meaning to actually open this up and show this to everyone. Uh, move my camera up because better lighting there uh but it makes that's actually worse <laughs> uh take myself out of the picture by going way up here so my head is out of the picture uh this is, happens to be the ca campaign case creatures for dungeon and dragons fifth edition this is new this just came out like last month as i said like the last two weeks of the last month uh, i did not open it yet as you can see it's completely intact there is no easy way to open this box because apparently they purposefully designed the box to be ripped open and thrown away because it's actually a case boop with a handle inside the box there is uh, some sheets here and some uh, decals you attach to these discs uh, I personally kind of have an issue with the fact that there's four different colors and that's going to set off my OCD because uh the fact that I have four different colors makes me want to sort or organize all my monsters across the four different colors. And there is no easy combination of organizing uh, the various types of beasts uh, or creatures because you don't have an easy division between all the types and uh, the four color discs. And they're all in different sizes. So if it was like all the red ones were t all small, all the blue ones were medium size, all the black ones were large, and one all the blue ones were huge. Yeah, that would actually work out. I have to make sure that my microphone is in. I opened up the top. As you can see, there is no resealing this box. I have a personal hatred of... of uh, of not being able to reseal boxes. So as you can see, I pull out the top here. You've got a little, this nice little cord handle and this little spacer that's on top. Boop. Toss that in my bed. Pull the box out. There is nothing in the box now, as you can see. And now, and now I got the campaign case out. As you can see, as this, if you, the light plays off of the logo, the ampersand. You see little stars and little circles at various points on the case. The case is magnetic open. So this top flap here has a set of magnets in it quite clearly that locks it in place like yaw. You peel it up, and then this whole top sheet comes off, and you got this artwork on top. That's on the front of the box, by the way. And this lid flips open flat, and flips under. Yes, it does, quite easily. And we have a folder with all the clings inside along with a, a vellum sheet to make sure that the clings don't scratch each, scratch each other it's all on black background all the standard artwork this is pretty much just from monster manual take out the sheet there's a total of there's four of those and then there's a sheet of all the little small ones which is kind of nice it looks like a lot of the small ones you get two of you get a bunch of zombies you got a bunch of skeletons, you got a bunch of orcs, you got a bunch of kobolds, you got some bunch, a bunch of goblins, and then you get two of various other creatures. And then 
singles of some of the higher level, higher CR creatures. I might actually uh, take photos of all these and stick them on my Facebook page and put a link to my Facebook page in the description of this video. That way people can easily see. Note that there's also star, there's also numbers and stars and clings down the side. They put the sheet back in. They put all they put almost all the all the clings on one side and then they only put two clings on the other side of the uh, folder. And they even that out a little bit. So put two three in one side, put two on the other, and then put the vellum, the protective sheet that keeps them from making contact and scratching each other, even though I don't really see a reason for them to be scratching each other. You got yourself a handy dandy folder, set that on top of my little stand there. And then inside the box, we happen to have this other little piece of cardboard. Toss that over there. We got this pull out ribbon. It's separate, so you have a tray that has a pull-out ribbon that's handy for pulling out all your stuff. And then you pull off that sheet, and then you got all the you got little uh, toppers, ooh, little trays. So in the top of this box, oops, I can move that down here. You happen to have, oops, these little like food trays, you know, like your uh, fat, uh, your uh, micro microwave meals or TV dinners, where you have all the discs set inside them, and it, it seems to be oh, it's taped, it's taped on. Gotta double check the bottom of the box. Nope, there's nothing down under the under the box tray. So it's just all one. Everything is. Everything else is in this tray. Pull out my 50 knives. My oldest one. And then you pull. There apparently is like four pieces of tape that's set around this. No? Oh, it's, it's, you take the tape, you cut the tape. And there's these holes right here. It's pressed through right there. So when you cut the tape on the ends, the top is still locked on. I'm probably guessing not terribly well. Uh, yeah. Hanging it good. Uh, yeah. I guess the discs stay in. But in order to pop that loose, you get your finger in there. And yeah. And then you got big disc. You got one big disc of each color. Those are, if you see, if you look at the disc very carefully, you so see you see that there's a tone gradient difference that changes. You see the darker center, and then you see it get lighter out here. They refer to these as weighted discs. You can see it in there. It is not a curvature on the disc. That dark spot is actually a most likely a metal plate that is impregnated into the disc of plastic. So when uh, you want to toss them on your table, they stick. So I grabbed a little mini magnet. Let's see if it's me metal. No, it's not metal. Or at least it's not iron, because uh, other metals are or, uh, mag not magnetic. But anyways, you got a single large disc of each color. You got you got red and blue. Then immediately under that, there is these little little vellum sheets, and then you got a little spacers in here that hold. Help hold all the discs in place. And you have a stack of various discs for your D&D uh, &D fun. 
this is actually kind of nice. As you can see, there's a stack here, and you there's a little piece of a little piece right here of like styrofoam, and as I pull it out, it releases the discs, and the discs can come loose. In the bottom of the tray, there is you can see there's this curvature here. You can actually see it more clearly from this side. Where, oops, you see the curvature where it points down. You can easily insert your finger in the edge of this disc tray here and pick them out with a little effort, which is actually kind of nice. And the same thing with the small discs. So that's actually kind of nice, actually. They they clearly have put in a good amount of effort in deci designing this tray to easily hold these discs with little trouble. That way when you get your uh, clings out and you attach your various creatures to these discs, you can just stack them up in this tray easily. And then when you want to get a certain monster out, you can simply just pull the discs up like yaw. As I said, you can see that there's this piece here, there's a piece, this little piece of cardboard here that helps lock it in. There's various pieces of cardboard around the tray that does that. For the large size ones, uh, they have those little sheets there to uh, protect against scratching. So I actually kind of like that. And the top snaps on. These as I said before, these two little lower indents right here go into the holes in the tray here. And you depress those down and you hear that pop and now the top is locked. Ah, that's nice. I actually like that. You also get some white ones and your black ones. I do say this is actually kind of nice. As I said, there's two pieces of tape right here on each end. And it only takes basically just pop, pop, and then you got that. And you might actually be able to, s no, no, you can't really see through the bl white ones. You can see through the red ones and kind of see where the inner disc is that weights the plastic disc. got good weight there. I'm just like dropping it on dropping it on my desk. So I don't want to break these because I got a limited budget. It's just one of those things. You don't want to break all your stuff when you buy it. <laughs> I don't make money on this channel. I'm not going to break it. I'm just going to make a light test of like, does it easily bend? Do I, can, do I see a seam in there? I kind of can see a seam. If you look at the light play on the edge, when it, the gleam of light from my light hits it right here you can see where the seam is between the two halves so if I, I if I'm like oh uh, finicky enough with this I might actually be able to split the discs in half but I'm not going to yet again all the discs have there's a piece of sheet paper packing paper and then you have the big discs in here that are held in place with a little piece of cardboard and have this handy dandy little groove here where you can insert your finger and flick them up easily with your finger, which is quite nice. And the same thing applies to the small discs. So you just, it's, it's actually quite well thought out. I do like it a lot. I'm going to at least some point put down, uh, put all the little critters on these discs and uh, set them up for uh, combat with my players and uh, see what happens, you know. 
Uh, the, this is actually kind of nice. I do happen to have a uh, Paizo Pathfinder Pawns, which I do like to use a lot. I also like to use the bases as stand-in uh, tokens for various creatures. However, being that these are also red and blue, you could have these stand in as for generic monsters, and it's actually quite nice. In the box, as you see, there is, I'm going to jump jump over to the box, there's these two alcoves where these two fit into. If I were to remove this, which I did prior, uh, did a moment ago, and I did not uh, show you, uh, you notice that there is a slot right there. That happens to be the slot where the handle falls into. Uh, they use a simple plastic 2 SD tie and some simple tape to uh, protect the ends of the cord. Uh, they could have did that better by dipping the tips in uh, liquid plastic or heat melting them together to lock them up tight. So that way the tape doesn't go undone and uh, these uh, zip ties are actually pretty sturdy. I've cut thousands and thousands of these over the years working in a scrapyard for cans and stuff like that. So I know how uh, sturdy they can be overall. You got a brown cardboard box inside of a black outer shell. You can see the black, the brown cardboard box inside the frame. So I insert that back in. You got this very, oh, by the way, you got this very exact curvature in the edge of the tr in the edge of the box as you can see here which makes it easier to handle and manipulate the inner tray oops get the poke trays discs back inside the box and then you have this top tray with this protective sheet I set the protective sheet back in the box top and then oh on the bottom of the tray there's a dragon ampersand So I just set that back on the top of the box. As you can see, as I said before, the top pops around. It is uh, It's not hinged at the top like this, which is annoying, but it's actually hinged at the bottom, which is a nice improvement over most other boxes like this. Because when it hinges off the bottom, you can set the box flat to the table and not have an angle like that, but have it flat. Or, as I said before when I did it, you can have the top go under, and you can easily you set it up, up like that. But you have your artwork facing down. So there you go. Uh, and again, take that, put the ribbon there, put the folder back on top, there happens to be just so much, uh, a bunch of room here for other stuff. So you can easily put some pawns in here or some other things. If you get more of these, you put the ribbon over the top of that. You snap that there. And then, as I said, the top is magnetically locked on. And you have the handle that goes right through. And you can yet again see the little indentation so you can easily lift from there. You can flip up the flip and then lift and turn it back. So this is actually kind of nice. I actually do like this. Uh, this is definitely a really nice product overall. Uh, I'm going to have to say uh, this is probably... Easily one of my new favorites. I do enjoy Pathfinders pawns and Starfinders pawns a lot. I never really use much in the way of minis because uh, if you use a lot of direct decorative terrain and minis, uh, you have objects where the care you can have like a wall and you have a character that sits next is goes up to a wall 
and people have a hard time seeing that there is, hey, a goblin next to a wall. Even though the player's character can easily see it from there, the goblin is sitting next to the wall, and the player can't see the goblin. Where if you have just a simple flat mat, and you have a bunch of pawns on it, or a bunch of tokens, or or a other a bunch of tokens like this, or like Dungeons & Dragons 4th Edition had, that is actually really, really easy because all you have to do is just draw out a simple map on the table and then just set the, down the tokens and the players can easily tell, hey, this is where my character is, that's where that character is, da 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 You know? I actually have a whole pile of tokens in a box in my D&D star, star set. So if you're wondering where what I'm talking about here, in Dungeons and Dragons 4th Edition, they had tokens. And these are just simple little cardboard discs with various sizes for various creatures that they used for 4th Edition. And I like those a lot. I keep a Dragonborn token in there because I got one player that always plays a Dragonborn. And I just kind of have to make sure I stick them in, in when I do maps for adventures. But anyways, I do like this. This is, this is definitely in... This is kind of... Would it be like a four star? Uh, from looking at the number of discs they have in here. Uh, and the price range. Yeah, I, I'm... I, just because of the number of discs and how many monster token, how many monsters in this, uh, it's not going to be a four star. The price versus how many discs you get is not going to fit that. It's going to be like a three point five star kind of deal. Uh, the issue is that you get very few creature tokens in this, and uh, for the price point it comes with, I would really want. 50% more tokens in this. I I really do want 50% more of those. And they probably could have easily designed this case to have that. Because I'm going to take it back apart again. Take out the top tray. And maybe if they rearrange these discs in here or made the used up more space like they included another set of the small ones in here so you have three sets of small ones and maybe a set of large ones in there as well or another two of these large ones I would yeah I would give this four stars but no th this needs more clings it needs more discs for a four star it's a three star as is it's just what it is. I like the artwork. It's it's a really nice idea, but it's a little on the expensive side. Oops. As I it seals shut quite easily. I'm actually gonna just put that on the top now. Oh, it's it's kind of cute if you look at here. You see the intellect devourer on the robe. Of the mind flyer. So there you go. It's nice. It's a it's a really nice concept. They they made something that's really good quality. I just wanted a few more discs. I wanted a few more discs and another sheet eat of creatures. It's a three point five at best. It would be a 4, but it's a 3.5. So, I'm going to put it... Oops. I'm going to put it back in the box for now. Because I'm weird like that, and I like to hold on to shit like... Stuff like that. And it does not seal up. The box is not designed to seal up. This is intended to be thrown away. This outer box is intended to be thrown away clearly. So... 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe on this. And I hope you have a delightful day, a nice night, a wonderful week, and a magnificent month. And see you next time.